tire of those ride-sharing apps. Next time you have somewhere to go, Google Maps shows you all your options for getting from point A to point B without leaving the app. This now includes hailing an Uber. Before you begin, make sure you're running the latest version of Google Maps and that you're logged into your Uber account on your phone. Then open the app and type in your destination and map out your route as you would normally. Now take a look at the options above. Scroll left until you see the stick figure with the briefcase hailing a car and click on it. You'll have the option of ordering an Uber or a Lyft, but for now Uber is the only one that lets you complete the transaction without leaving the Maps app, so we'll stick to this. The interface is not exactly what you're used to seeing in the Uber app, but you still have the same basic options for comparing prices and wait times for the different rides. Once you've selected your ride, hit Request and select your payment method. It defaults to the card on file for your Uber account, but you can easily add a different one or use Android Pay. If you've already linked your Google account to your Uber account, you should see the tiny car icon making its way to you as soon as you hit the Book It button. No Uber app necessary. Once you're in the car, the actual ride is exactly the same. So, how long have you been driving Uber? The only thing I wasn't able to do in Google Maps was rate my driver at the end of the ride. To do this, you'll have to go into the Uber app unless they roll out another update. They're also offering a $15 credit for new users on the Google Maps app for both iOS and Android, but that may not last too much longer. And for more Google Maps tips and tricks, head over to CNET.com.